Hello there viewers, we are returned with some more Dragon Quest, and if you haven't seen the last episode, I highly recommend you go watch it because a lot of plot unfolded. I'm not even going to bother going over it in this episode, so uh, we just fell, I'll tell you one thing, we just left off jumping off a cliff with Jade, and uh, there she is, oh, she good. just got some firewood. It's kind of hard to burn that stuff, especially if it's, uh, you going to catch a cold, Jade? I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? <laughs> her sneeze sounded so high pitched compared to her voice. <laughs> okay then. Well, anyway, we jumped off a cliff with her, I and uh, caught. She caught us before we you. hit the ground or the water, I, I guess. To forgive him myself if if it happened again. Yeah, because she was the little girl who uh took who like I ran away with us and our mother. Told you about your mother. She sacrificed herself to save you and the princess of Heliodor. Yep. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. Mm-hmm. And then she was that hiding night, behind a rock or something. The night Dandrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. Uh-huh, and then she, she sacrificed herself distracted them for long enough for us to get away she died to save us and then you got like in the river or something and then the current but pulled us apart even though she trusted me with you I I was too weak and stupid to I fell in the river and I let you go that must be horrible you must have been beating yourself up you all these years times I've wished that it was you rap fished out of there and not me <laughs> After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. Oh, uh, okay. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. What? Why? I was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind. That someone must be controlling him. Controlling him, huh? So we set out together to find out who and why. That's odd. I never expected to see Hendrik again. Let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Yeah. We just, we gave him the slip once again. How is everyone else though? Like Rab and Eric and the rest of them? Are they okay? Where? How are you even gonna meet up with them? Was that a log fell or something? Oh, the rain stopped. Wow, we've been up all night. I'm so tired, Jade. I need to go to bed. Wait, I just woke up. Looks That's right. Like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. Why would we go back there? Wouldn't Hendrik be like scouting around? Well, whatever. How far are we away? That's the second time we've jumped off a cliff in this game. <laughs> okay, let's see. What what happens? So, oh, we're actually not that far. Hardly at all, actually. Okay, so is Jade with us now? No, she's just helping. Interesting. So now we got Sister Jade on our side, and we gotta go and get our party back together. We gotta go find Granddad and Eric and Serena and Veronica and Sylvanda. I was I was really expecting, after all that happened. Oh, I mean, I was really expecting Sylvanda to make such an entrance before we fell off that cliff. What? Are you kidding me again? You found us that fast. I told you we should just walk back here, Jade. So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the dark spawn. Okay, why well, was that cabin just sitting there too? Like no one was in it. Sir Hendrik. Why are you guys using titles? Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. I'm so confused. What princess but is she from? Should you choose to continue to side with the child of darkness, you may not live for much longer. Gotcha. Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. He would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king. You have been away from home too long, girl. 
Okay, so she's the daughter of the King of Heliodor. Gotcha. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. Interesting. Okay. So now I know but where she's has. from. What? Okay, she's just going in. I thought she was going to do something, but she's just going fighting. I thought she was going to use some like weird royal power or something. Okay, dang. What's with like these awesome cutscenes with Jade where she just like goes in? Come on, let me fight. Princess, the spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Yeah, she's fighting without even a weapon. Oh, please, I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. Yeah, jeez. Look at how fast she is. <laughs> Hendrix is kind of chilling there, though. He's just sitting on his horse. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, did you get him? But no. Ugh. What will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the dark spawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you. Jeez, Hendrix, you are ruthless. What the frick? Hendrix. Oh, princess. Oh, he can't do it. I'm sorry. Well, I wonder if they were close back in the castle days. Look out for your sword, Hendrik. Oh, I thought it was going to land on him. On. We just stole his horse! Yo, we just Don't stole his tight. horse! Oh my gosh! Freaking Hendrik, we just stole his horse! <laughs> Bye, Hendrik! We just stole your horse! Princess, what have you become? Oh my gosh. Okay, my apologies for that. Um, I accidentally had my mic unplugged, so my audio is probably like super, very uh, meh. At least you can still hear me, so my apologies for that. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, we got the group back. I like how they're just chilling there. Like, Hendrik was like the only guy left, and they're just chilling over here. He didn't bother capturing them or anything. Yeah, we're okay, guys. There you both are. And in one piece, too. Hi, Granddad. Just about. No thanks to Hendrik and his men. Okay. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh-huh. Mm, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... Rascal. I doubt he told us much. Well, so what now, Rad? Well, if you out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. See. It wouldn't have been the What's first the time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Huh? Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. What? A Who? legendary evil named Mordegon. Mordegon. Is he the evil guy the story who... story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. Why? You think but someone like that I would be remembered? About him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. You must be a super old boomer. Wait, I thought that was gonna. Mordegon. I thought he was the guy who was the, the, fate of the whole evil. World depends on it. I thought he was like the evil guy. You're the luminary, after all. You were born to defeat the dark one. Yeah, the dark one. I was thinking the dark one was some like monster thing, not just some guy just chilling in his hut. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Gotcha. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Yeah, so how do we... Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? I guess? Here you are, laddie. There it is. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the world tree. Thanks, Granddad. So if now... If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, <laughs> old it's stick. you. Lead on, Luminary. So now we have our full party. Everybody's here. Receives the rainbow. It's kind of interesting. Like, each person well, is kind of tied to the Luminary's fate. Except for Silvando. Silvando's like the only guy who's just kind of chilling. Don't tell me it's a dud. If oh that Noah sent us in a wild goose 
goose chase. I'll throttle him. Oh, I'll I'll do more than throttle him. He told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. <laughs> kind of with Veronica. Listen, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be a little upset. No, no, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jed and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. Oh, maybe if we're like right near it. We'll not give you any bother. I promise. Oh, they're gonna join us? Yes! There they go. <laughs> there we go. Now we finally have a full party. Can you stop? Like, <laughs> Rob, just for a second. Look at him trim his beard. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, now we got Rab and Jade. There we go. Our full party is assembled. Level 23. Okay, so maybe we're not over leveled. They came in at us at 23. I know we were over leveled when Silvando came. We were like level 19 while he was 15. So maybe we're slightly over leveled, but not, not by too much. Oh, okay. Are you serious? It's already reacting? Hey, branch, it's... We barely got any. We walked like 20 feet and now it's already reacting. Are you serious? Okay then. A vision. An altar thing? That's where we need to go. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, the orbs! The orbs, that's right, there was an orb back in the other town, and Eric already has one. We find the six orbs, and then we can get to Yggdrasil. <gasps> did you all see oh, that? I'm assuming you did. Did you see it? It was so pretty. Yeah. A sort of platform floating in the sky, and six colored orbs. Yeah, there was one for second place at the tournament place. So that means Rab and Jade have it. I think it. I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Gotcha. Well, thank goodness Eric got his Maybe hands on one. Maybe halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. Yeah. And especially Eric's already got one of the orbs. And we've already got one of the orbs we need too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. There you go, Eric. That, that would have been so hard, too. Like, to go back there and do it. So, Eric, you were super smart. For it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Aw, oh, thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. He worked so hard to get that, and he's just giving it up so easily just for us. You just have one, too? Ra oh, that was the, the one. Tournament. Okay, yeah, that was the prize from the tournament. Okay. In the end, eh? Yeah. Aye. And there I was all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. So there we go. Now we have two of them. Which sees the yellow orb. I thought it was green. Well, maybe it was just the lighting in that place. It now, was kind of dark. It looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. Uh huh. So we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. Yeah, but we have no leads on any of them. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Exactly. There you go, Serena. Now you're asking the real questions. Orbs, orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Excuse me. I remember the details though. What? Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Noah, uh, where are you? Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. Okay, It's off sure to thing. the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. I think I uh, actually I went there earlier. I'm hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. Awesome. Let's do that, Rob. <sighs> Silvando? What's wrong? Hmm? You right okay? Then. Let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. Maybe he's been in some trouble with the Dawn guy. Okay, well, we're going to make our way over there. But anyway, I was trying to say, everyone here has some sort of connection to the Luminary, except for Silvando. Like, Eric, some guy told him to, like, follow us, and then Rob and Jade, they are, like, relatives, kind of. And then Serena and Veronica, 
those two are like ordered to protect me from somebody. I don't remember why. But Sylvando just came along for the ride. It's kind of weird to think about how everyone's tied except for Sylvando. Okay, I'm working my way back now, but I just wanted to like, just check this out. Look at this view, I swear. Oh, it's such, I love the scenery in this game. It, it's just, oh, it's so nice. Okay, the Coast of Valor. Yeah, this is where we came right after we got the boat. I remember because we uh, fought something over here. Yeah, we fought the uh, Coral, the Coralossus, that's what it's called. So we head on up here. I did do some training while I was up here off, like in between episodes, real quick. Um, after we first got the thing, and we fought these things, yeah. This is actually, these, this like scene right here is actually on the back of the box art. I was actually in GameStop the other day, and I, <laughs> I gotta say, uh, I might link, uh, the video's not up yet, but it'll probably be up in like the next couple of days. I linked, uh, not link, I, um, I bought a Sonic cereal box from GameStop. Yeah, I bought a Sonic cereal box from GameStop, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna like film a video of me trying it on my third channel. So maybe I'll link that at the end of this video or in the description if you want to go check it out. But anyway, on to the Coast of Valor. Interesting. I like how it's got like a beach next to a castle. That's pretty neat. So why is Sylvando so worried? Okay, darlings. I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now. I wonder if he's like banned from the city maybe? And there he goes. <laughs> what came over him all of a sudden? Yeah, he seemed nervous to enter here. Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Sure thing, Rab. Okay, hopefully Sylvander's okay. Uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. That's fine, Rab. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? Okay, I'm down for that. So here we are. Heard of Valor, another city that I love to look at. Look at how, look at the archi not architecture, I don't know anything about architecture, but look at like the stone color. I love how like white and clean this looks. This looks so good. It feels like I'm on like a getaway vacation. Look at this place. Like I said, this scenery in this game is so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so where, I have to, I'm gonna have to buy some weapons here later. I don't know where he said the Dawn lives, but I'm just, I'm just running around because this looks so good. Here's a side quest over here. Okay, that guy just wanted us to, to defeat a Coralossus for some coal or something like that. So is this... No, this is the inn. So where's the freaking Don Rodrigo or whatever? Okay, it's got to be through this. This is like the biggest building here and it's like a different color than the rest. So this has got to be it, right? Yep, it sure is. Oh, there's a butler. Hey there, butler. How you doing? Nice candles, nice glass, nice... So wonderful to see you after so many years, and your companions too, of course. Uh huh. Like how dirty Good my cloak looks. Good to see looks. you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't Cervantes, suppose is that Don actually his name? Goes about for a wee chat, is he? Well, let's hope so. <sighs> Lo siento, señor. So sorry, but I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. Oh He's no. The guards there in the art of Hopefully he doesn't get tainted by them and want to kill me again. Ah, no, or, that's a not shame. again, but just kill I me after. I so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and fighting. <laughs> Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Oh, that's nice of him. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. He's a servant and his name is Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea so in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? Maybe? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> okay, well thanks, Cervantes. I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. Okay, that's easy. We just got him. We're already leaving? Man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? Okay, please don't notice my mark. Okay, so here's the sea gates. Is he gonna open them up now? I'm assuming. Awesome. So, hey, uh... Cervantes. Okay, thanks. He is opening them. This was really easy. There's nothing that happened in that town. There's our pal Cervantes. 
Give him a nice thank you. Oh no! Everybody. Don't let him notice Silvando. He might be in trouble if he notices Silvando. Oh, I'm scared. Don't close the gates after you see him, please. <laughs> He's running. Oh no, don't close the gates, please. Oh, okay, well it's fine. Awarded for opening the sea gates of Perto Valor and getting access to the open ocean. Gotcha! So why is Silvando in such trouble? This is a nice little, uh, creek or coast or whatever this is here. A little valley? Maybe that's what it's called. What? So what? I don't know why- why is Silvando in trouble with them? We got some Drake slimes here. That's cool. We can deal with this. Now we got Rab and Jade. I'm curious to see what they have. I haven't applied their skills yet, but I gotta look. Let's see. What does she have? Leg Sweep, Harvest Moon, Puff Puff, Hip Drop. Okay, let's try Hip Drop. Let's see what it does. What? It's like Princess Peach's side B. What the heck? Okay, um, we have Attack. <laughs> okay, so, oh! Mid heal. He's, okay, so he's like a minstrel. That's cool. What abilities do you have? Benediction, Red as Rain. That. Oh my gosh. Rob. Rob. Rab. Whatever. You are really good. Let's go for Crackle. Dang. Rab is really good. I'm gonna have to use him a lot. Okay, she's, she's not using Fisticuffs anymore. She's just fighting with a spear now. I guess she's had a spear with her. Another one That's fine, though. The dust. Gosh, Rab is amazing. He's got tons of spells. And he's got, like, a ton of abilities, too. That's... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Is there a mystery island? Okay. We're in some fog. That's all cool. Don't be fog of war. Don't be fog of war. Where's Dave or Dave? Uh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Just be like Scooby Doo and cut through the fog and eat it. Hey Sylv, what's going on? I loved that Scooby Doo episode. I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard. Okay, that means to the right. Yep, I gotcha. So why would we steer to the right in this fog? We can't really see anything. That's not good. Clearing. I can see light up ahead. Okay, so the mist thing was pointless? What was the point of the mist? <laughs> it just clears right away. Where in the world are we? Um, the ocean? Wait, what? Oh, this is the mystery island that I just happened to come upon. Wait, the strand. Is this like the Bermuda Triangle or something? Okay, take a gander around. There's... Rab... That's not our ship. What's up? Fascinating. Judging by the shape of the prow and the state of the planks, I wouldn't be surprised this boat was built long before I was even born. I cannot help wondering if they strayed into the valid... Valorian... Okay, the Valorian Triangle. Gotcha. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. You know, it's a bit of a sea where they say ships just up and disappear, never to be seen again. Oh my gosh. And we ended up there? Are you serious? What the heck? Eric, something's not right about this place. No wind, no waves. It's almost as though feel. It almost feels as time stopped altogether. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> sorry, doll face, but the ship's stuck on a sandbar. We ain't going anywhere, or we're going nowhere for the minute. Me and Silver are gonna see if we can push the old girl free. You lot, just sit tight. Everything will be sorted out in no time. Silvando, sorry, honey. I have no. I have a clue where we are. The island doesn't appear on any of my maps. I want to wave bye-bye to this forsaken place as soon as possible, but so long as the stallion's stuck on that sandbank, we're staying right here. Okay, enough with the S's. Making me trip up over my words like every single time I talk to someone. So Serena, what a pretty little island this is. It looks just like the one in the picture book I used to read when I was little. Really? I always said to Veronica that I'd like to go there and to meet the handsome prince who lived there. Tee hee. Uh, yeah, I don't see any handsome prince around here. Except for me. No, shut up. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing here. Let's not waste any more time than we have to. As soon as the wind picks up, we're getting back on the hunt for the orbs. Okay, Jade. Okay, it's cutscene here. Veronica's like... This strange place. 
It's almost like being in a dream. It is kind of, and it was like right next to the cliff, so why can't we see it? Well, the water is water. Uh oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. What? Uh, Who are you? Mermaids? Uh, <laughs> Just like, huh? Yeah, I'm not Kai. Sorry, I'm not from hey! Ninjago. Like that. Veronica, please stop yelling at everybody you meet. Disappointed to see us. <laughs> she just gets more disappointed. Uh. Hi. So you are a mermaid. What you doing? Just kind of chilling here. Hold on. Are you a mermaid? Yes, Veronica. I said that like a minute ago. You didn't scream or try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. Did they try and did they seriously come here just to capture a mermaid? I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, it's just I thought my Kai was back, and I got all excited. Okay, who's Kai? Wow. Besides the Ninjago I guy. I believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway, <laughs> who's this Kai you keep talking about? <laughs> Veronica just seems dumbstruck. He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. Lona Lulu Bay. He me here upon our wedding day. Wedding day. Wedding day. I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. Okay. At first, I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. Mermaid's burden? For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. Yeah, that's right. But when I told my Kai Wasn't that how the old little mermaid ended? Him, Didn't she die and turn back into foam? In that case, Shil, you better teach me how to swim. Also, like, so they can't so take I showers? And what happens? So they can they drink water? The I'm confused. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. How? Oh, How does that work? wonderful news. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, congratulations. So he dies after he, is the pressure breaks He's his ears and he dies of so no oxygen. Together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. Okay. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. Are you the only mermaid here? I know it's rude to ask Wait a you, sec. But I, I could just say a pearl. I plead. I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Uh, we're kind of shipwrecked at the moment. Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea... Where the giant pearl from the Yeah, this is just what I was went. talking about. I wonder. Even uh, Serena said there's a child book, childhood book that they read. This. If we go and check on your fiance, will you take us down to see the queen? Oh my goodness. Underwater. To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. Um, if anyone knows the truth about this giant this ship? pearl, it's the queen of the sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? I guess. Sure. Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd um, be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. Lona Lulu. Can you stop oh, saying Lona Lulu? It's to the south of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. Hato. Okay, we've been there before. That was the Kai's first village. A famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, janky sailor stuffed with smoldering emotion. Um, okay. A hunky, chunky oh, no, sailor. I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. Okay. <laughs> A hunky chunky sailor, huh? 
<laughs> Sounds like you're talking about a cookie. Well, let's get back on the boat. I just found a mini metal in the chest over there. So Dave, let's go back. I don't worry with that Michelle, lovely girl, and you ain't gonna believe this. She got, she only got and used mermaid powers to get the stallion moving again. We can leave whenever you're ready. Gotcha. Watch her, boss. Back to the stallion, then, is it? Yes. So mermaid powers. That's a little bit vague, isn't it? So yeah, there's the there's the place I was talking about. I just kind of like went there, and it just automatically forced me to go there. Like I didn't even go really near it. It just kind of happened. So it looks like we have to go all the way onto the bottom right. Okay. We'll probably run into some enemies through there, but that's that's not too far. And there's that island over there. I want to explore that island sometime too. Mermaniacs? Okay. We can deal with these guys. They don't look too difficult. They are like upgraded versions of the mermen that I've already fought. So what other things do you have? You have the Puff Puff. What does this do? I want to, I want to try this. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Crackle? That does a lot of damage. Okay. Oh my goodness. That does a ton of damage. Restores. Okay. Each turn? That's really good. See, this is what I'm talking about. Rob is so good. Consistent healing? That is an amazing, amazing move. Right as rain? It's, I think it's like a late game thing, too. I haven't even assigned their skill points and they're already this good? Jeez. Okay, well, um, keep hitting these guys. She has a lot of attack. That's right. Well, it makes sense that she has a lot of attack. So, Rav, let's go have you go for Zam. 55 damage. You're doing even more damage on my side. What the heck? These two are amazing. Jeez, I'm going to have to... This is so hard. I don't know who I want on my team. Everyone is so good. Like, the weakest one we have is probably Serena, but she's a really good healer. But even if not, Rob is a good healer too. It almost seems like Serena can just be outclassed by Rab. I don't know. Empathy, benediction, I don't know. I'll go Zam. That's fine. Eric's going in, we'll half inch again. And I already been rinsed of all his goodies, that's fine. I forgot about that. So attack Jade, awesome. Here we go. Holy protection wears off, that's fine because we are already here. Disembark on Lana Ludu. Looks kind of interesting. What's down this here well? Nothing because there's <laughs> it's all blocked off. Okay, so we're in south of Hato. Oh, and we're already here. I thought we had to explore around, but here's another beach village. Jeez, we hardly explore that other village. We're already in another one so fast. We're gonna have to go back there, I guarantee it. But right now we're here. Looking for an orb, or looking for the guy so that we can get the orb. So Vondo, are you banned from this town too? Nope, he's walking in with a delight. Oh, here we are in beautiful Lona Lulu. Okay. A like paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. Why are you talking like that? Why? <laughs> oh no. Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Something tells me it's going to be the complete opposite of that. It's going to be some run-down old village where everyone's sick and tired and there's just trash lying around everywhere. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> it's like one old lady just kind of walking around. Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just <laughs> find this Kai guy and get out of here. Okay, Eric, sure. Lana Lulu. So here we are. Uh, there's not a lot of people. They're, they're right. So I know in Dragon Quest IX, the last time it was in a fishing village, we had to fight a Leviathan, so... Well, I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. Though, the Leviathan fight is like one of my favorite fights, so... Where can I find this guy? I imagine in one of these huts down over here? Oh, okay. I thought this was locked, but it's not. So what's in here? Nothing? Okay. This is the Elder's house it said it was? Now, there's a lot of... There's a lot of missing people here. There's like... Here's some kids. Plenty of kids running around, and there's an old lady with a wagon thing. Look, look! Auntie's here! The show's about to begin! The show? That guy looks like a younger version of Noah. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so what show is happening? Are you all paying attention? Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. Veronica, get up in there. You fit right in. <laughs> the curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Is this maybe the fairy tale that uh, Veronica was talking about? Um. Oh. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. It's Kai. He more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. It's Kai reincarnated. <laughs> reincarnated. Shut up. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big Kahuna, Kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. Okay. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. I see. And then Pearl came Until along. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. Oh no, that's awful. Not the fish. Oh yeah, and the fisherman too. <laughs> So now what? Oh, let me guess. He's going to find As a mermaid. He sank through the water. He saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. I see. And yep, there's the mermaid. And instead, he met her. A mermaid. Wait a second. More beautiful than Is any that the creature mermaid we saw? Before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear. What? I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Okay. That's Many a days bit passed and the fisherman did not dramatic. return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. Aww. Sad. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. Now what? The Kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. Okay, but what happened to his soul though? But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. What? Then one so day sad. he threw his fiancée aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her. The kahuna was furious. Understandably, jeez. He banished the fisherman what? from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. Hey, that's a little harsh, but still. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lanalulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. So how does that curse the village? I thought only he was cursed. Okay, so what's the point of that story then? That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Bruh, Granny, come on. You only talked like five minutes. Oh, look the at the mermaids kid. Mermaids are scary. Ooh, the mermaids coming to steal our souls. Run! Gosh. Come on, kids are not that dumb. <laughs> okay, Hello, so what's up, Granny? Friends. Aloha. Is there anything I can do for you? I mean, Alola, huh? <laughs> Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. <laughs> Veronica just like talks as if she didn't even hear anything that just happened. Oh my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? Yes, I'm I guess. He's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's ah, been- Ah, come on, again. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. 
Okay, so that's where all the boats are doing. They said it was dangerous around those waters. Okay, so I gotta go. Be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only the... danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all papule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. What does papule mean? <laughs> I'm assuming it means crazy. Interesting. Well, here's a TikTok guy, but now I don't even want to hear what they say. There's TikTok, TikTok, tick puns, clock puns, haha, ha, funny, funny, funny. Yes, okay, goodbye. So now I gotta go rescue them, and ho I wonder if it's the same squid. That it no, it couldn't be, because we're out in the open ocean now, not in the, uh, where we were with, like, Galopolis or whatever. So that's different. Or not Galopolis. The, the gondol gondola? The gondola place? It's not called that, but it's something like that. Gondalia, that's what it's called. Okay, well, let's go help out those guys and see what's up with them. Here they are. So what's going- wait, there are three boats when I came here. Did one of them sink? Well, no, it couldn't have been, because there's no squid out here right now. Okay, so Vondo, what- What are they saying? Ooh, these must be the gallant squid hunters. I wonder which ones are blushing husband to be. They're all saying- what are they- I think get out of here? Excuse me, which one of you big brave boys is Kai? <laughs> of course they can't hear you. Are they asking for us to save them? They look like they're saying something, but I can't quite make it out. A good view. I love you. <laughs> Above you? Above you? What? What's above us? Look out! Up there! What? Is it the squid? What the frick? The other boat! I didn't know there was three boats, so what the heck happened? It's the squid. How were you planning on fighting this thing, you guys? I've got to be kidding! Yeah! Tentacular. Tentacular. Okay. Oh, we're fighting it. Tentacular draws near. Oh my goodness, we're already fighting it. I'm ready for anything. We need to do something about those awful tentacles. Bravely shielding behind it. Okay. So we can attack right tentacle. <laughs> so we have to probably take out the tentacles first, I would imagine. So, I didn't mean to defend. Well, whatever. Okay. I will not half inch, because of course... <laughs> I love when he does that. Oh my gosh, okay. What? I thought I healed before this. Okay, maybe not. Um, let's see. None of these are really that good. She doesn't have any spells. Okay, well, let's go for hip drop on the left tentacle. Yeah, use the Princess Peach side V and see how we do. I'll go for right as rain. Because we're going to need some... Uh, I go just like chanting into this guy. There we go. Now we get some HP. That's good. So, Eric, let's go for... Boulder bringer, and we'll go on the actual tentacular itself. There we go. <laughs> I like how it just like slaps, just taps us. There we go, boulder bringer. Oh, I'm getting low. Oh no 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 no! Oh, we don't have Serena, so we can't. Oh wait, Rob has Zing. That's right. Okay, Jade, you keep going for that left tentacle. <laughs> okay, I'm still I'm still down. So can you heal? You have mid heal. That's good. Heal H right now, and then maybe heal yourself soon when you're done. Jeez, he has so many like attack everybody attacks. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal up Rob because we need some healing. Gosh, this this guy's not messing around. Um, go for the left one. Just take out these tentacles. Okay, Boulder Bringer. That's nice. Oh, you know what I should do? Jeez, stop! Shade's gonna die. <laughs> she doesn't have anything. Um, defend. I don't need you to die. I want to keep everybody alive. Rab, you're going to be healing everybody. <sighs> okay, that's fine. You do that left tentacle. Oh, this right is right is really helping. So, what should I do? Um, Frizzle, it's probably the best move to go for. Okay, I'll go for the boulder bringer on like the right tentacle so that they get like tons of damage. Okay, evasion chance goes back to normal that's fine boulder bringer on the right one boulder bringer, boulder bringer. <laughs> there we go 
So now, no matter when he attacks, it's going to take a ton of damage. So come on. 42. That's That was him himself, not the tentacles. Oh, stop rocking the... Rab dies? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. We're dead. We might lose. Left tentacle is gone. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay. H is going to have to do some healing now. Now that Rab is gone. Oh, this is so bad. Good. Boulder Bringer is like the best thing right now. He's right, Avrain is still there though. He's still here. Rob is still here. <laughs> no, not now. It went like all in on Eric. I need to mid heal him right now. Here you go, Eric. Yeah, no problem. Boulder Bringer. Oh, yes. No, sweet breath. Are you kidding me? Regenerating? You've got to be joking. Oh. Uh, what the heck? Oh, wait. It's only at half health, though. Interesting. Stop. Please wake up. Okay, I woke up. That's good. Okay, I'm going to go Boulder Bringer on. Right tentacle's almost gone. I'll do it on left. There we go. Boulder Bringer is, like, really good right now. Yes, keep blocking. No, wake up, Jade. No. She's up. She's up. That's good. I'm falling. I can't get up, though. That's not good. Come on. Stop hitting me when I'm down. Wait, that was right tentacle. Why does he keep attacking? He just consistently keeps attacking. Eric's dead. Look at how low we are. I got... He attacked four times in a row. I don't have anything I can do. I think I might just die. Can we get rid of one of these tentacles, please? I should have gone right. Okay, left one's gone. I'm up. I have to heal. Who's the best to heal right now? I have to decide. Who's more... Who's... I think it's Eric. Eric is more... He's more valuable right now. I wish I could heal... Oh, I don't have any... I can heal with him a herb. It won't do him enough, though. He'll probably die. Oh, let's try it. Let's try it. Forget being overleveled. <laughs> Eric, you're alive. Oh, we're all dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to... Defend? <gasps> what can we even do? We need to go Boulder Bringer on him. Wait, does he already have it? He are... Oh, he replaced with a new sigil. That's good. We have to heal Eric. Come on, Eric. <laughs> you're the only one who could take this out. We just have to attack this thing. Why was I going for the tentacles? Is Eric dead? Thank you for assessing the stupid situation. Are you serious? Come on. Come on. Get this right tentacle out of here. It's gone. Okay, now it's just you. And you already have a thing. So I'm going to go for dodgy. Not enough MP. I used it all up on the stupid sigils. We're not defeating this thing. I guarantee you we're not defeating this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna die. Ugh, oh, that's annoying. Yep, we're dead. What the heck? Your standby? What? That's so cool, I didn't know they did that. Oh, we have another chance. We have another chance. I didn't know this happened, that's so cool. That is so cool. Angel's breath, okay, hold up. Let's see, what can we do? I, mm, we'll go for bang. There we go. Oh, you guys are coming in clutch. Okay, we're going for kabuff. We needed this. See, this is what happens when I take Serena off the party. I, for, I'm sorry I called you useless, Serena. Or not useless, but not as helpful. So reheal. We'll go for reheal on Silvando because he's probably the tankiest one here. There we go. Left tentacle. That's fine. Who cares? I think the combo that I had, the, the combo of people that I had, is probably just not the best that I had out there right then. So I'm going to just keep going for bangs, because it'll get these tentacles out here. Left tentacle is defeated. Good. The boulder bringer is gone. So fun, no dodging. Oh my goodness. That's so cool that we get another chance, though. I can zing back Jade, too. I should do that. Hold up. Um, we'll go for reheal on Veronica. We'll just put, we'll put re reheal on everybody. Residual re regaining HP is just so good. We'll put it on everybody. There we go. Now we're all getting like 10 HP back. 
That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not good. Okay. You guys have a pet power, don't you? Um, heals all allies and enables HP to... Okay, that's cool. This is even better. There we go. Oh my gosh. This stupid synchronized talking. We haven't seen this though yet. That's pretty cool. So now our HP is healed and it like slowly recovers each turn. Yeah, we got this stupid thing. We got this tentacular. Oh, but the chilly breath is actually pretty bad. Okay. Drain magic. The dazzle. We should just keep going for bangs, right? No, we'll go for a frizzle on the right tentacle. Because I want... The less chances it has to attack, the better. Okay. Is it Veronica again? It is. Frizzle the tentacular. There we go. Is it Silvando up next? He is. Um, we're going to go for Hustle Dance. We got to be able to do this. Whack! No, I'm going Woosh. We got to kill this thing. Come on. I should have zinged Jade. What was I doing? Sweet breath. Don't fall asleep. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you didn't fall asleep. There we go. Let's go for Frizzle. That's our most powerful spell. It's doing a ton of damage, which is really, really good. Um, we're going to go for Hot Lick. And I did the wrong thing. Well, whatever. Serena gets her HP back. That's good, at least. So now, let's see if we can zing Jade back. Come on, Jade. Come back. Come back to this world. She returns to life. And she's probably going to die immediately. She didn't. Okay. Good job, Jade. Uh, we're going to go for Hip Drop on the Tentacular. Boop. Use the Booty Blast. And then we're going to go Reheal on you. So that you can regain that HP. It doesn't do much, but hopefully that residual will help you. Frizzle, come on. This thing's got to be getting low now. Uh, uh, uh. Um, 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 we'll mid-heal you. Because you're really low. She has a ton of HP. I think she has more than Eric. She might. Oh my gosh, that does so much. Don't bring your tentacles back yet. Thank goodness. Thank goodness it didn't bring it back. Okay, it's getting low. That It has like the red or in the low HP. Goodness, this is a hard fight. I mean, I probably should, if I had like... Serena, myself, Eric, and like not Rob. I think Rob just, I, don't know, I thought he was a better version of Serena, but the kabuff that she has is so good. Come on, this thing's gotta go sometime. What can we do right now? What can we do? I'll go for another kabuff. Please, the kabuff wore off, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. Plus, Jade didn't have any kabuff on her either. Um, hip drop again. Come on, soon. Come on. Okay, Veronica, finish it off with a fizzle. What the heck? This thing has so much HP! Don't... Oh no, not our... Not our mage. Our mage and our healer. Yes! Yes, Silvando! Let's go, Silvando. That is so cool. I didn't know the party comes in if you die. That is so cool. Use your skill points right now. We got this. That's fine. That is so cool. I love that. Blor. Blor. Yeah, get out of here, you stupid tentacular. Yeah, get out of here, you stupid tentacular. <sighs> yeah, look at that guy. He's like a midget, but he's big. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darlings, it was nothing. Eric and the rest are just dead. Like the luminary is dead. H is H H is dead. Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. Weren't you just really big, or maybe it was just like you were closer to the stream? But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Oh, thank you. Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. Okay, sure. Yay, off we go. We defeated the squid thing, but where's uh, where's Kai? Okay, well I think I'm gonna leave for whatever happens for the next episode, since we just got done beating up that squid, and I think we did pretty good. Everyone is back to life and full HP. Good to know. Okay. Well, I think I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.